Hello everyone, this is David from Automotive Press. I have two super exciting news coming out of Japan in the form of the most recent Best Car Magazine, which is claiming that both Toyota and Mazda will introduce a fully electric EV version of a high performance sports car to be introduced sometime in 2025 or 2026. And in the case of Mazda, they are even saying that the nameplate RX-7 will come back in the form of an EV sports car. And for Toyota, they are saying that this is going to be the first application of the GR badge in the form of an electric vehicle. And this is going to be super exciting because we have been hearing some rumors that Toyota is working on a, some kind of high performance car that is GR badge, but it's also fully electric. So both of these news are super exciting. Let's get right into details. So here is the July 10th edition of the Best Car Magazine, which is obviously known for coming up with really good rendering and future predictions. So as we scroll through the pages here, uh, this entire magazine is dedicated to talk about battery electric vehicle, what they call pure sports car. And let me just glance through quickly and I'll come back and give you more details so you can tell these are the rendering they claim could be very accurate in terms of what the GR bashed EV sports car might look like and they are indeed different from what Akio Toda showed back in December of last year uh, which was a bright yellow EV sports car but they're claiming that the design philosophy for the new EV is different from that uh, design language because they believe that this new design is really what the market wants. There's a lot of details here that I'm going to cover in a second here but I do want to show you some of the rendering or the drawing done by Best Car Magazine and here is the then rendering for the Mazda RX-7 which is being co-developed and jointly engineered between Mazda and Toyota as they continue to strengthen their relationship. And this is exciting because the uh, Mazda RX-7 nameplate is being brought back for this pure EV sports car. Uh, the rest of the magazine talks about GR Corolla, the new Lexus RX, the things you guys already know about. So we're going to come back to the front page here that talks about the GR um, sports car in the form of a new electric vehicle. And let me go through some of these details. So the interesting story here by Best Car Magazine is that uh, the GR badged EV sports coupe that was shown in December of last year was uh, essentially a sort of test unit to gauge uh, feedback and reaction from people uh, but that was truly a mock-up or slash concept vehicle for that purpose. And they've decided, according to Best Car Magazine, that perhaps they should start from a clean sheet of paper and redesign a whole new GR bashed EV sports car. And that's why these renderings show something that is very different from the yellow GR bashed uh, EV sports car shown before uh, because they said the design phase have started now with this type of uh, image and design philosophy. It looks really cool in my perspective. What do you think? It has a really long hood and a very uh, shapely profile um, with lots of uh, Toyota clues of course but it doesn't look anything like some of the previous Toyota sports cars unlike the um, GR bashed EV shown before which was rumored to be a MR2 replacement it looks like that is going to be delayed and instead this one perhaps more like a Toyota Celica style is the one that's coming out in about 2025 or 2026 time frame. According to Best Car Magazine, Toyota has given the official green light and a go ahead for this uh, BEV sports car and they are saying that it will be exclusively in all wheel drive version with a motor in the front and motor in the back with up to 500 horsepower. Uh, also, according to Best Car Magazine, the battery technology will improve dramatically to the point where uh, the battery can have twice as much range uh, with substantially reduced charging time. So those are some interesting uh, claim by the magazine. Of course, we won't know for a while yet if that is true or not, but it is very exciting news indeed. To finish off the discussion, uh, they are saying that the size of this GR sports car will be about the same as Supra with 4.4 meter in length. 
Now let's move into the RX-7 discussion, which is equally exciting because we have been waiting for this speculation to come true. And looks like they have given a green light to go ahead for this amazingly designed RX-7 that is jointly developed between Toyota and Mazda. It looks kind of like uh, a cross between uh, Aston Martin and uh, Mazda design features in the rear. And if it does look like this, it's going to be absolutely amazing. So there's uh, quite a bit to talk about uh, specification as well. According to the magazine, this Mazda RX-7 EV sports car is also fully electric, but the engineering is done by Toyota, with Mazda focusing on performance side of things and things like calibration and tuning. But there is a big difference between this RX-7 and the GR EV sports car from Toyota, and that is the Mazda RX-7 is going to be using rotary engine as a range extender. So that means that the car will be fully electric, but it doesn't have to depend on the battery as much as the normal electric car because the uh, rotary engine will be used to charge the battery, allowing to have a, a really good range without having a large battery. Now they are also thinking that uh, in following the tradition of the previous Mazda RX-7 that this will be a rear wheel drive as opposed to all wheel drive in the case of Toyota and that the technology even though it's shared between Toyota and Mazda will be exclusive to Mazda in terms of the rotary engine being combined with the battery electric vehicle design. The Best Car Magazine also talks about some other brands that are working on fully electric sports car, including Honda and Nissan. They are claiming that the next generation Nissan GTR will be a full EV performance car, as you can see in this rendering as well. And we have already seen Honda showcasing some kind of fully electric car that is most likely the next generation Honda NSX or Acura NSX. So these are some of the really interesting uh, remarks by Best Car, car Magazine, which is really known for uh, accurate speculation. So while we don't know for sure if these renderings are accurate, if anyone knows about the future of Japanese vehicles, well, it's definitely the Best Car Magazine. They have proven over and over again to be reasonably accurate, and even their rendering sometimes is ridiculously accurate, which means that maybe they have some kind of inside scoop, or maybe Toyota and other Japanese companies are secretly leaking some form of image to them so they can tease us with future models. And maybe that is the best way to market slash brand these vehicles, because the more they can tease us, the more excitement we have especially when it comes to electric vehicles because many of us are not sure if a fully electric sports car will indeed feel like the today's uh, performance sports car that are ICE based or internal combustion engine based. So it's going to be a very interesting times ahead and I am very excited about uh, what's coming ahead for uh, both Toyota and Mazda in this case. Uh, and then the rest of the magazine covers a all wide range of topics but there's one section that is actually quite interesting. So this is toward the end of the magazine, but they are highlighting what they call a classic or heritage SUV from the past, and they are showcasing all kinds of interesting cars that we all love, such as the original Land Cruiser from 1980s to 1990, uh, the Big Horn from uh, Isuzu, which was a quite interesting vehicle, as well as a bunch of other cars, like an older uh, Forerunner, which was called Hilux Surf in Japan, uh, and uh, as well as a few other models, such as the Nissan Safari, uh, Mitsubishi Pajero, and even Suzuki Escudo. They continue to showcase even more classic cars in here, uh, some of which we are quite familiar with, for example, the first generation RAV4 is a car that my wife actually purchased and believe it or not, she kept it for 21 years without any trouble. It finally died and then she now owns a new Toyota RAV4 Prime, but she loved that RAV4. Uh, and then they've got some other models in here, including uh, Isuzu Mew, that's what the name of that uh, SUV was. Uh, also Pajero, as well as a few other models, uh, even Mazda had an SUV from the past. And then of course we all know the first generation Honda CRV. The Nissan Pathfinder, we had that as well. Uh, and then they are showing some uh, really smaller cars as well. 
um, between 1996 and 1999, such as Daihatsu, um, a small SUV slash uh, 4WD car. And so these are some of the cars that they thought was very memorable and something that we should not forget. Uh, so uh, as well as the Isuzu V-Cross, that's the name they used in Japan. Uh, which is actually pronounced Vihicross, I think. And that was quite an interesting, a very big departure from normal SUV. So that's pretty well it. There's some other stuff in this magazine that's also very interesting, but I'm running out of time here. So I hope uh, you found this to be useful and interesting. I'm uh, really, really curious to find out what you think of these new uh, rendering and speculations. Please uh, uh, subscribe if you can and make some comments. And if you can give me a thumbs up, I would truly, truly appreciate it. But for now, I'm signing off until next time. Thank you so much.